Hello and welcome to this video tutorial to set path and class path for Java and Windows 7. I assume that Java SDK and Java Runtime Environment is already installed on your system. Setting path for JDK and JRE is important for Java programs to compile and run. For the purpose of this tutorial, I am going to take a sample program. This simple program displays some output. Now I am going to compile this program through the command prompt by typing java c and the file name of java program this shows error saying java c is not recognized as an internal or external command this is because of the reason that path for java c or java is not set to set the path you can select computer right click it select properties click on the advanced system setting on the top left corner of the window. This pops up systems property with the advanced tab selected. Click environment variables button. In the environment variables button you have two options of setting user variables or system variables. You can, it is better to set path in the systems variable. You may or may not have path variable inside the systems variable tab. If you already have the path variable then you can click edit by selecting the path variable or you need to create a new variable by clicking the new button. Now click the edit button under system variable. Path will be under the variable name and next you need to provide the physical part to the folder where JDK and JRE is installed. You might already have the path inside the variable values. Do not delete this path but try to append this path. You can type the complete path but it's better to browse to the location and copy the path. I have installed Java under C drive in program files. We need to browse till the JDK bin folder and select the entire path from the address bar, copy and paste it at the end of the existing path by appending with a semicolon. For JRE, we need to ap again append the path with a semicolon, then browse till the JRE bin folder, select the entire path from the address bar and paste it in the variable values. Now click OK and you will find the path appended. Now we need to set class path. You may or may not have class path variable inside the systems variable. If you already have the class path variable then you can edit or else you need to create a new variable by clicking new button. In my case I do not have the class path variable. I'll click a new button and create a class path. Next, we need to provide physical part to the folder of JDK and J JRE. I have installed Java and C drive under program files. For JDK, we need to browse till the JDK folder and bin folder, copy the entire path from the address bar and paste it appended by a semicolon. Now for JRE we need to browse till the JRE bin folder copy the entire path from the address bar and paste it in the variable value appended by a semicolon and the dot at the end. 
click ok click ok and cl click ok and close the system properties close all the command terminal in terminals in case they are open now open a new terminal window and try to compile java program the program is compiled as well as we can execute the java class file in case you are getting the same error as java c not recognized as an internal or external command then you need to recheck your java path as well as the class path thank you for taking time to watch this video